Packets that exceed the TCP content inspection queue should not be forwarded. If you forward packets when the TCP content inspection queue is full, the firewall can inspect the content at the TCP layer, so it may not be able to identify and process malicious traffic. The best practice to safely enable applications is to drop segments when the TCP content inspection queue is full. On the firewall, this is located under Device, Setup, Content ID, Content ID Settings. The trade-off is that high volume traffic conditions could lead to performance degradation and some applications not functioning smoothly because of TCP retransmissions for drop traffic. This is the first step in the BPA Plus wizard. You have been redirected here by either clicking the button in the BPA report or from the Get Help section. The first step in the process is to select Browse to upload your tech support file. Navigate to the tech support file and click Open. Now that the tech support file has been successfully uploaded, we can continue to the next step in the process. The next screen that displays is just to let you know that you need to set up the PanOS CLI for BPA+. This is how BPA+, remediates your issue. Click Next. The next step is to select the failed checks. For this demo, we're going to remediate the TCP content inspection queue. Click Next. At the top, you can see the message, please review the best practice settings and select the desired option for your config. This particular queue has to do with your content ID settings. The message below says TCP, do not forward segments when TCP content inspection queue is full. As we can see, the best practice settings box is checked. In order to comply with best practices, the exceed TCP queue enable needed to be set to false. If we click the existing settings, you'll see a warning. Are you sure you want to deselect the best practice settings for this profile? We advise against this as it will make your system less secure. So we'll go ahead and reselect best practice settings and click Next. At the very top you can see the message, please review your changes before execution. Your existing configuration will be updated once the PanOS set commands are executed. The next section here is Generate Set Commands. At the very top, there's a Copy All Commands button. If you were remediating several BPA failed checks, this would copy all the commands to remediate those. In our case, we're only remediating a single check. So we'll scroll down and view the commands. The first command is Configure, which puts the firewall into configuration mode. Then the next command is Set Device Config Settings, CTD, TCP Bypass Exceed Queue to No and the next command exits configuration mode. Now we'll copy the commands and move to the firewall to enter them on the CLI. Paste the commands. Everything looks good, there's no errors. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to go ahead and enter a commit. Okay, now we'll go back to the firewall and view the changes. We'll go to Device, Setup, navigate to the Content ID tab, and we can see here under the Content ID settings that Forward Segments Exceeding TCP Content Inspection Queue is unselected, so we are not going to forward those. We're effectively dropping those packets. This concludes the demo.